this. I'm scared. Don't f***ing touch me. I'm a How can they show that? I can't take much more of this. Hi, Simone. Hey, Miss Bells. Oh, and hello, everyone that's watching on our YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. We love you. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. We love you so much. Today, we're on some crazy sh**. Tell him, Isabella. Today's episode, we will be looking at a man who has sex with cars. <laughs> mm hmm right. We're watching clips from a documentary that we'll link down below. But apparently there's a big community of them. Of men that have sex with their cars. Now shut up and drive, drive, drive. I feel like we have always joked like men in their cars, but this is gonna give a new meaning to men in their cars. Let's begin. This is Vanilla. She's a 74 vanilla. standard beetle, and I named her Vanilla because... Lick me on Vanilla. Pure Vanilla. It's kind of a sexy, sensuous name. Everything about her is uh, very sensuous to me. I, I enjoy holding her. I enjoy being part of her. And no, 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 no. I'll her. be doing this, and it's almost impossible, you know, to resist her. <laughs> mm. But she's my lover. Simone. Huh? What? Huh? What? Simone. I'm currently clutching my purse. I don't know what I missed. Full erection. No. No. Yes. No. Can we go back just a few seconds? No, please, 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 please. Oh, there it is. Please! You can't say he's lying. You can't say he's doing this for attention. That's his penis. Hello, penis. Hello there. I don't want to do this. I'm scared. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I'm just... I think a lot of men act this way with cars. I don't know cars. I've never known cars. So every time a man's like, vroom, 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 and they like name them, they're like, this is sweet Sylvester. Isn't she hot? And they like wash them. <laughs> this is what it looks like. What? He's like literally humping the car while he's talking about it. <laughs> Vanilla For Beetle of 74, your creamy body I adore, flesh and metal, overwhelm, man no. and car, become one. Song. What kind of love song? I'm gonna write you a love song. When you're parked in my yard, where my sun sets, freed from the light of day and dark, I leave my loving seed. What is your loving seed? His Oh my god, isn't this exciting? First of all, if someone ever wrote a love song about me and the tune of it is da, da, It's giving very much Phantom of the Opera. It's giving like Count Dracula. And it's one. And he's like, your creamy white body. Vanilla is like, sorry, try again. Vanilla, she's cutie. She deserves a little bop. Look at those tailpipes. That's a part of the body, but it represents the car's anus in more ways than one. No, just no. Like, just about when you're ready to, to explode with love, you just place it in there, maybe grease it up a little with some lubricant. It is fantastic. No. The sensation is unbelievable. No. Doesn't exist. I'm not here right now. I'm not here right now. Who did the sound on this film? Uh, Cause come on, we couldn't, we couldn't cut that out. We couldn't get rid of some of the background sound. We have this man saying, uh, "Final ecstasy, lube it up, grease." The tail light is the anus. No, not the tail light. The tail pipe. Girl, tail light, tail pipe, shine bright, shine light. Tail pipe, tail light, shine bright, shine bright. Tail light, tail bright, shine bright. Here's what I don't like. I don't like that he's sexualizing another car while he's in vanilla. Yes, that's f***ed up. You're inside of vanilla talking about another car. That's where I draw the line. Go in like this and then go like that. That's where it's too much. Yep. We had noticed Edward eyeing up our hire car along the way, but now something else took his fancy. No, that's someone else's car. That's someone else's property. How you doing? How you doing? You lonesome out right here? Are you lonesome? <laughs> Where's your owner? Uh, there's somebody about to be trash? What? Not bad. Not bad at all. Time to go Betty by. He's not even having safe sex with Vanilla. He's literally just putting his d everywhere it'll go. Don't f***ing touch me. I'm being Vanilla right now. I saw what you did right over there. You go make out with some other stranger who's by herself I'm in the corner, you mm -hmm. And then you walk over and 
have the audacity to rub my little wheel and say goodnight, girl. Shut the f out. Here's my thing. If I walked out to my mother fucking car sure. and someone was rubbing on my car being like, what? That was someone else's car. If you are going to stick your penis in a tailpipe of your own car on your own property, you know what? Do whatever. Edward was an early riser. Unaware that we were also up, he grabbed the opportunity to get intimate with our car. It's their car. Edward had grown used to seizing opportunities for sex. We had our backs turned for just minutes filming these shots, but when we returned to our car, we found this shot. How can they show that? I'm Dennis! You know that the people making this documentary were like, oh, we're losing their minds. This is gold! Where did they, is this an independent actor? I'm not going to address this clip. It's too much. Can Vanilla see this? Probably. I would be pissed. I would be pissed too. Justice for Vanilla. Hey, good morning, Vanilla. How you doing, oh, kiddo? I slept great last night. Don't you I'm sure she her. did. I gave her a little loving before going to bed. Oh yeah? Yeah, she liked that. I'm just getting some of the smudges. Love smudges off of her. Some of the loving scenes. E God, yes. She loves it all over her, that's for sure. The woman was too stunned to speak. I know a lot of things just transpired. What I do want to say is that the way that he licked the napkin and then proceeded to continue to clean the car, I know he has the flu, HPV, chlamydia, hepatitis B, and COVID before we knew what COVID was. I'm sure of it. There's no loyalty here to f Vanilla, after you made out with another girl, and then the next morning, you f another woman. I'm over it. Vanilla, you deserve better. Edward surprised us again by revealing that he had, in fact, had sex with a woman. It was in San Francisco in the early 70s. But it didn't linger in my mind as, wow, that was a hot, you know, date. My mind seems to just want to shift to other subjects, and so, ooh, like that. Oh, bitch. I all over it. Ah! I don't, I can't take much more of this. I'm glad he's talking about cars and not about people. You should have respect for the things that you're attracted to. Literally, if this was a man talking about women, it would be disgusting. Disgusting! Just because you're talking about cars, one, it's still disgusting, and two, now it's weird. It's w interesting too because when the woman that we reviewed that was in love with the Eiffel Tower, shout out to that episode if you haven't seen it, go watch it right now. People call me cuckoo, I don't care. What we have is real. She was respectful. She was so respectful. She's not like looking up at the Eiffel Tower like, I'm gonna cream all over you. N never, don't ever do my bitch. She would never, ever, okay? You express such love for these cars. That creates a life in the vehicle. No, literally, I'm shaking my head no because that is not a good lesson unless you are specifically talking about inanimate objects. We're talking about a very yes. specific situation. I don't want for a man to be looking at, or anybody to be looking at this and being like, I imagine that they were in love with me. So it's so, oh, sure. And now I'll proceed to do anything that I want because I feel an energy. No, bitch, you feel delusion. Don't play with me. But I do love the sentiment that imagination is a very powerful tool. It's true. And that your imagination does create your reality to a certain degree, not when it comes to other people's feeling. But I, I like that. That is beautiful. And I like that he's aware of that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and close this book on Edward. I don't care for Edward. Me and Edward are not besties because Edward is pervy and he's a coronized, womanized, coronizer. I don't f***ing know. Yeah. He would stick his d*** in any old sure. tailpipe that's open. Sure. That's not the type of man for me, baby. Edward, here's what I have to say. I think you're probably a wonderful person. You're not hurting anyone, so truly does not matter to me. I do not judge you for being attracted to your cars. However, I do believe that you need to start respecting Vanilla a lot more. I implore you to re- assess 
your actions and how they might be affecting the imaginary relationships in your life. And let's really treat her with the dignity that I believe Vanilla deserves. Anyway, so that was our episode on a man that wants to f his car. Once again, we are not judging this man. Enjoy being yourself, be weird, be whatever, as long as you are not harming anybody else in the process. Isabel is a lot more accepting. This shit freaked me out. This shit freaked me out. I'm sorry. If you f your car, write it in your diary. Thank you. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you would like to support us financially, go watch the episode, the shorter version of this episode over on Snapchat, linked in our bio. We also have merch. We have our Patreon. We have our cameo where you we can send you, sorry. We have our cameo where you can ask for um, reviews on your dating profile. We're everywhere. Just check our bio and come hang out with us. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And share this video. Love you guys.